Richards might be able to go two, maybe even three innings today if he's throwing a lot of strikes. Mitch White may also be a factor today. They're going to try to piece it together with multiple pitchers in an effort to even up this series. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> But for Julian, this is a tailor-made moment for him, something that he is so excited about, getting to play in Canada against the Toronto Blue Jays. Just summoned from the minor leagues on the taxi squad yesterday, activated today with Jorge Polanco landing on the injured list. Eddie Julian set to go. First pitch, line drive right field. That's a base hit. This will go to the wall. Julian rounding first base on his way to second. He will stop there. Great start. Eddie Julian, his first big league swing in Canada, is a leadoff double to begin play today. There's a fly ball to right center off the bat of Donovan Solano. It's Varsho who makes the catch. And the throw to third a little bit late as Julian tags and comes to third. And a fastball to get him. Put the change in his mind. Finish him off with the heater. Yeah, you tell yourself, wait, 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 wait. And oops, he threw you the fastball at 95. 3 2. Popped him up on the left side of the diamond. Chapman and Bichette shoulder to shoulder. It's the shortstop Bichette making the play to retire Correa and leave the Twins runner at third base. So now here is George Springer. 54 career leadoff home runs for Springer. He's in ready Joe Ryan his first career start against the Blue Jays. Toward the gap. Where Kepler cuts it off one away. He starts Bo Bichette with a fastball in for a strike. And that one through the right side for a base hit. Something we have said often this year as Bichette reaches. Exactly what I was thinking. There's a base hit to right. Oh, what's new? It's Bo. Bichette stays and the 2 2. Fly ball, shallow left. Lardick, sunglasses on his cap, will come in and left and make the play for out number two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out at 94. And Ryan strikes out Guerrero. Blue Jays don't score. Leave one at the end of one. The pitch. Swing and a miss. It's the strikeout on the changeup. Second batter fan by Richards. Front one and two. Got him. Another changeup swung on and missed. The one two. Swing and a miss. Three straight strikeouts in the second against the Twins. All on the changeup. How about that Silver Fox? He's been dominant early for the Blue Jays. As he wraps the ground ball left side, Correa dives, smothers it to his feet, will throw to first base, and he got him! Because of the catcher, Kirk, running, Correa still had a play. Carlos went left, he dove, he found his feet, and with that arm, plenty of time to get Kirk as Chapman moved to second base. Here's Whit Merrifield. Blue Jays threading for the first time. That is sliced into right field and will drop for a base hit. Chapman is heading home and is in there. And the Blue Jays take the early lead. A one nothing lead on the RBI base hit from Whit Merrifield. 1-2, lined up the middle, a base hit into center. Merrifield cuts the bag at second, then powers down. So a run in, two on, one out, and here's the number nine hitter today, the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. And the 0-1, ground ball the short, Twins have a chance. Correa has it, second one, the return from Julian, in time with the double play. 6-4-3, inning ending double play. 3-2, right there, strike three called. Change up right at the knees. Jeppers goes down looking. Trevor Richards has struck out five of the last six to face him. Got him. Another chase on a change, and that's five consecutive batters he has struck out. Two out base runner, and Julian's aboard. 3 2. Swing and a miss. Solano down on strikes. Another strikeout for Trevor Richards in his spot start this afternoon. Seven punch outs for the veteran right hander. 1 0 Toronto. Pitch to Belt. This one is hooked down the right field line. A fair ball. Belt on his way to second and in there with a double. Rudder at second, two out for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Line drive, right center, base hit. In to score is Belt. Big turn by Vladdy. Gets back to the bag. Give him an RBI single and make it two to nothing. Yeah, Brandon Barrett looks like he may have injured himself running the bases. He's walking back very gingerly to the dugout. And now with three of the next five batters being left-handed hitters, not to Bowden Francis. They go to the lefty, Tim Meza. He deals and a pitch line drive. Diving stop made by Chapman. The man's highlight reel continues to run night after night after night. Not this time though, swinging a miss to get him, two down. 2-2. Two, two. 
Lined out to right field, freezing in the sunshine. Springer finds the baseball, moves forward, makes the play. One, two, three, fourth inning turned in by the lefty Tim Meza. Well, here's Bowden Francis returning to the big league level for the first time since last April. Going to be really interesting to see where the velocity is on the fastball here and how he also incorporates that big breaking curve. One, two. And the curveball to get a swing and a miss and strike out Jeffers. Well, we told you the twins strike out a lot. Taylor swings and misses. Back to back strikeouts in the return to the big leagues for Bowden Francis. George Springer will lead it off against Joe Ryan. Springer lines a ball to deep center. Back is Taylor and it's over his head. And Springer on his way to second with yet another double. That's his third in the last two games. Springer tagging and took advantage of Kepler kind of being back on his heels a little bit there to advance 90 feet. And here is Nathan Lucas. Brandon Belt, the DH today. Belt went reaching for his hamstring upon crossing home plate when he scored the run in the third. Ryan's 1-1 in the air. Is it deep enough? Out to left center field. Larnack is there, called up by Taylor from center. Taylor makes the play. Springer's coming down the line. The play at the plate is not in time. Quite a trip around the bases, though, for George Springer. Let's see if Larnack can get it going here. Larnack 0 for 2 today, 0 for his last 17. High blast, center field. Going back is Varsho. Go ball. At the wall. Oh, again. Varsho comes up short again. He almost robbed a home run twice at Target Field two weeks ago. Larnick put it just out of his reach for Larnick's sixth home run of the year. Blue Jays in front, 3-1. So the Twins have loaded the bases with nobody out, down two, and here comes Alex Kirilov. And there's a swing and a foul tip as Kirilov strikes out for out number one. A big out there, that's out number one, and now it's Correa's turn. It's 13 strikeouts for the Twins offense today. So now a double play would end the inning. A drive left field. Merrifield going back, looking up, that ball is gone! A grand slam for Carlos Correa! And with one swing of the bat, the Twins have the lead. It's 5-3 in the eighth inning. Kepler is at the plate. Mitch White is on the mound. And the 3-2 pitch, a drive to right field and deep. Springer going back, he will turn, that ball's hey. gone! Max Kepler finds his own teammates in the Twins' bullpen, adding on a three-run homer, and the Twins have an 8-3 lead in Toronto. It makes second easily, so Donovan Solano with a three-hit day. One out, and now Kirloff, who's 0 for 4. That's to the left field corner, and down for a hit. It'll score Solano. Kirilov held hitless all afternoon long. Checks in at second with an RBI double. And that's ball four, which will push Merrifield up to second. And here is Espinal. Espinal rips one to the gap in right center field. That's down for a base hit. Turning the corner at third. Merrifield's heading in. He'll score on an RBI single from Espinal. And the pitch is a ground ball up the middle. Farmer there. Steps on second for one. Throws to first. And that's a double play. And that's the ball game. What a great comeback. Twins were down 3 0 late, had nothing going offensively, and then the bats come to life against the Blue Jays' pen. A Larnick home run, and then a seven run eighth inning.